Two years. It's been two years since I last wore a suit and leather shoes. Now, normally, you break out the suit and the leathers whenever you're attending an occasion, and the opportunity to feature a vehicle such as this is an occasion in and by itself. Now, a vehicle like this deserves more than just a pair of jeans and a Reagan stride shirt, so here we are. Friends, the most expensive SUV on the planet, the Rolls-Royce Cullinan. Let's do this. Oh man, that British accent is terrible. <laughs> Hello guys, I'm Reagan and welcome back to another car review. If you're new to my channel, I hope you click that subscribe button for your regular dose of Philippine automotive content. If you're my subscriber already, well, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Oh yeah, and click that like button. Also special thanks to the AutoHub Group and Sir Wayne for allowing us to feature the Rolls-Royce Cullinan in this review. Now, Sir Wayne also has his own YouTube channel, so it would be good if you could go to the video description and click the link and subscribe to his channel as well. Rolls-Royce is often seen as the pinnacle of automotive luxury and such a lofty title deserves a lofty price. While the Cullinan has a base retail price of 375,000 US dollars in America, well, local buyers of this distinguished SUV will have to shell out a little bit more because of our, well, taxes and duties. Now, the retail price of the Rolls-Royce Cullinan is 48 million Philippine pesos, give or take a couple of mil, depending on what kind of options you decide to add on. Now, 48 million is nearly a million US dollars, so let's see what sort of luxuries you can get for that kind of money. Now, if there's one word to describe the front fascia of any Rolls Royce, that would be massive presence. Okay, those are two words, but I meant to say presence. But the thing is, a BMW X7 has presence. A Mercedes G63 AMG wagon also has presence. But those two vehicles, although they're both awesome in their own right, pale in comparison when it compares to the massive presence that this Cullinan generates. The price difference between those vehicles and this Cullinan also reflects that. Now, the first thing that you notice when you see the front fascia of the Cullinan is this massive Parthenon front grille. Now, some reviewers mistake this for chrome. But friends, this is not chrome. This is hand-polished stainless steel, which is fancier than chrome. I mean, Rolls-Royce could say that it's made of white gold, and I'd believe them, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> now, the next thing that you'll notice is Eleanor right here, who is uh, more commonly known as the spirit of ecstasy. Now, Eleanor can stay up there in all of her proud glory, or she can be automatically hidden and retracted into the bonnet in case you're parking in less than savory areas. Now, the Cullinan is also equipped with laser headlights here, which has a light throw of up to 600 meters. Now, since you're paying 48 million Philippine pesos, you shouldn't expect something as pedestrian as LED headlights on the Cullinan. So, we're getting laser headlights here that will illuminate anything that comes in front of your Cullinan. Now, lastly, we also have a stereo camera right there in front, which actively scans the terrain in front of the Cullinan and automatically adjusts the damping and the air suspension of this thing to give you that renowned magic carpet ride that Rolls-Royce is known for. I mean, for 48 million Philippine pesos, I wouldn't expect anything less. The Cullinan is based off the Phantom platform, which rides on an aluminum space frame that Rolls-Royce likes to call the architecture of luxury. Now, come to think of it, if you look at the side profile of this Cullinan, it does look like a lifted Phantom. Now, when you go to the rear quarter panel, though, you get traces in the design of uh, another British SUV brand, where it straddles the line between curvy and boxy to create that unique British SUV look. However, what is truly unique to Rolls-Royce alone are the designs of this, well, the door handles. 
we've got the door handles right here in the middle because the rear doors open like that of a carriage. Now, most people consider this as a suicide door, but this is just based off the design from the carriages that Rolls-Royce used to make way back in the early 20th century. Now, the Cullinan would not be a complete Royce, well, Rolls-Royce, sorry, <laughs> if not for this. Now, this, my friends, is the Rolls-Royce umbrella, and you just open it, remove it by pressing the button there, and you have your umbrella right here which will keep you away from the rain and from the hot sun. But guys, don't lose this umbrella because this thing costs over 100,000 Philippine pesos. So yeah, let's just put this back here. All right, slide it there and keep that in place. <laughs> Now, these doors are also the pinnacle of luxury because it also has a soft closing mechanism. And in case you want to open or close the doors from inside, you've got buttons to automatically open and close the doors. Now, if there's a doorman outside, the doorman can also just slide his finger on this button here and the door would automatically close as well. Now, these doors are the Rolls Royce of car doors. <laughs> All right, now the Cullinan also gets these, this Rolls-Royce badge here on the front fender, and it also has your side turn signal, and the Cullinan rides on massive 22-inch wheels with a staggered tire setup. The front gets 25545, while the back gets 28540s, which, if you think about it, are a little bit on the thin side for a vehicle that's supposed to go off-roading or on a dirt trail. Now, it makes more sense that this Cullinan is really meant to be more as a city SUV. Well, duh. <laughs> now, what makes more sense, though, are these monogrammed center caps of the Cullinan. You see, these are Rolls-Royce monograms, and these are weighted center caps, such that they're always in an upright position. Now, that, my friends, is really cool. Now, behind these wheels, we get four-wheel disc brakes, as expected, and for your front suspension, we got a double wishbone setup in the front and a five-linked independent rear suspension at the back. Now, the dampers of this thing rides on air suspension, wherein you could manually adjust the height in the dampers of the Cullinan, or it can make use of the flag bearer system, which is that stereo camera that I mentioned a while back, where it's up front and it scans the terrain in front of the Cullinan and automatically adjusts the damping and the suspension and comfort of this thing. Now, that is really cool. But what's cooler is the fact that the Cullinan also comes with active roll bars. So that means if you're taking corners at a fast clip, well, you won't be sliding around inside your Cullinan and you'd be supremely stable. Man, crazy. <laughs> The rear end follows the same curved box shape that can be found in other British SUVs. Now, compared to the front, the Cullinan's rear end is an exercise in restraint. Of course, we get LED taillights here and quad exhaust pipes that is befitting of such a luxury vehicle. Now, when you pop open this power liftgate, you'll see that it's a split open liftgate, which Rolls-Royce likes to call the clasp. Now, to open the lower part of the clasp, you have to press this button here, which is pretty similar to the BMW X7. Now that the clasp is fully opened, you'll see that the Cullinan will give you 526 liters of trunk space, which for such a large vehicle might seem like it's a bit on the small side. However, you could still fit a medium-sized luggage here and its twin right beside it. Well, if you have to carry more stuff than what 526 liters will allow, I'm pretty sure that your support vehicle can accommodate your extra stuff. BMW owns Rolls-Royce, and as such, we get BMW power right here under the hood. Now, this Cullinan is motivated by a 6.75 liter twin-turbo V12 engine that is sourced from BMW, and it can put out 563 horses and 850 newton meters of torque. Now, the power is sent to all four wheels via a ZF Source 8-speed automatic transmission. Now, the Cullinan gets an all-wheel drive system plus four-wheel steering for better maneuverability at low speeds and better stability at high-speed cornering. Now, when it comes to the fuel economy, well, let's put it this way, guys. You need to own an oil company in order to own this thing. I mean, 
seriously, if you really have to ask me about the fuel economy of the Cullinan, well, guys, you're watching the wrong video. <laughs> OK. Oh, my goodness. Ah, uh, it's so high. <laughs> wow. Now, this is the epitome of luxury. Well, owning a Rolls Royce, guys, is all about the experience, the craftsmanship, and we get both of that in spades right here in this Cullinan cabin. I mean, wow. Now, the thing is, most Cullinan owners will be um, customizing their cabins according to their taste and preference, but let's see what this showroom Cullinan will offer to us. Now, first up, plastic is nowhere to be found in this cabin. I mean, it even sounds like a dirty word to say plastic inside a Rolls-Royce cabin. Plastic. <laughs> <laughs> now, we get these uber luxurious leather seats here that have heat, ventilation, and even a massage function. Now, both of these seats also has power adjustments. In fact, all the seats of the Cullinan have power adjustability. Now, we also get this leather wrap steering wheel here, and the steering wheel also has this dark, actual dark wood accents and some really nice uh, stainless steel buttons here that are polished. I mean, I think these are polished aluminum or stainless steel. I don't know, but definitely I don't think this is chrome. Now, these buttons control your cruise control and hands free connectivity. Now, the steering wheel also adjusts with a motorized adjustment because no Cullinan owner will be bothered with manual adjustments on their steering wheel. We also get two buttons here which I use to automatically close the front doors. Now that is really cool. Now when you look at the instrument gauge cluster of this Cullinan, you'll see that it's an analog layout but it's actually a digital instrument gauge cluster. Now I would have loved to see an actual classic analog gauge cluster here from the Rolls Royces of old, which would have been given it a more authentic feeling. But I also understand that the company has to move forward into the digital age. And since all uh, luxury car makers are giving us digital instrument gauge clusters already, so yeah, that's what we have right here. But at least the Cullinan still has this classic analog layout, which I truly love. Now, the infotainment system is hidden under this leather covering here, which opens with the press of a button in case you need to access your infotainment system. Now, the screen here is a 12-inch touchscreen infotainment system that has Apple CarPlay as standard, but I'm not sure if it comes with Android Auto because I didn't really see it in its specifications. However, the Cullinan does have a 360-degree view camera, and the image quality here, wow, it is really, really good. I mean... Goodness, guys, we are in a Rolls Royce. Now, this infotainment system can be controlled via the touchscreen or via the master control knob that can be found right here in the center of your, well, center tunnel. Now, we have here the Spirit of, of Ecstasy and Bose also right there. And if you'll notice, this is the master control knob for the vehicle systems and the infotainment system, but this is also not the, well, gear shifter. If you're looking for the gear shifter, guys, it's found right here, mounted on the steering column of all places. Uh, I mean, yeah, if there's one thing that I'd change in this Cullinan, it would be this um, gear shifter stock right here. It's, um, it's a little bit off, especially in such a luxury vehicle. I would have expected something like a rotary knob that's similar to the ones found, let's say, in Jaguar. But yeah, this is what we have here in this Rolls Royce. Now, moving forward from that, um, <laughs> that gear shifter right there, we also have your fully independent and automatic climate control system here. When I say independent, that means that each passenger inside the Cullinan gets their own climate bubble inside this car. And check out these, these knobs and these buttons. I mean, these are so crazy luxurious guys. <laughs> and I love the aeronautical theme of the AC vents here, plus the way that you adjust the AC vents here. Wow, these, um, no, these things, these knobs are so good. I mean, they're so luxurious, guys. Um, another thing that I noticed with the infotainment system, by the way, is the buttons here, you don't even have to press on the buttons. You just have to lightly touch on it, and the system already recognizes your touch. Uh, this thing is, <laughs> it's over the top, guys. It's absolutely 
Fantastic. Now we also have a couple of cup holders here which we will have to subject to Reagan's clean canteen test. So we have our clean canteen here. The cup holders look a little bit too tiny, so I'm pretty sure it won't pass. Yeah, it fits, but it doesn't go all the way in. So it is a fail, guys. This thing, the Cullinan fails my clean canteen test. Not that it's a big issue because you could always put that in the bottle holder right here on the door cards. Now you move down here to the buttons surrounding the master control knob and you've got buttons for your off-roading. So, you know, this thing, the Cullinan doesn't ask you so many things about what type of setting. It, you just press the off-road button and you can go off-roading if you want to take this thing out on a trail. Mm, nah, I don't think so. <laughs> anyway, we have also buttons here for your camera and other um, safety sensors and all that stuff. Now, looking at the entire cabin layout and the materials use, my goodness, if you are wondering where that 48 million Philippine pesos went, well, ask no further after seeing this cabin. As I mentioned, no plastics can be found. We've got this analog clock mounted right here on the dashboard with the word Cullinan right there. Everything is wrapped in leather, metal, actual wood finishes. I mean, this is crazy opulent. Wow. This is truly a Rolls Royce, guys. I mean, this is the Rolls Royce of SUV cabins. <laughs> Fantastic. There are great back seats, and then there's the Rolls-Royce back seat. Now, entering the cabin of the Cullinan is an event by itself, not only because we have suicide doors here that close automatically with a touch of a button, but because of that overall experience of luxury that we get here inside. The back seat passengers get the same leather seats here that are fully powered, and we have heat, ventilation, and massaging functions as well. Heck, we even have uh, AC vents on your feet, right there at the, on, on the floors, just in case, uh, well, if you want to keep your toes toasty or cool, depending on your preference. Now, we also get a center divider here that also houses some nifty features that complete that overall Rolls-Royce experience. In case you want to control your vehicle's infotainment system, you don't even need to talk to Manong driver in front because you can just push the button here and you already have access to an identical master control knob that helps you control the infotainment system and the other vehicle controls. Now, in case you want uh, a stiff drink after a hard day's work, well, you can pop open this component apartment right here which houses a nice Rolls Royce whiskey glass plus a decanter that contains your favorite whiskey now that is really cool guys all right now if you want something a, le a little less um, stiff if you want a drink that is a bit lighter and bubblier than your favorite whiskey you could open this compartment right here and it will give you access to a chilled area that also contains your favorite champagne bottle. Now, Rolls-Royce even threw in these uh, pair of Rolls-Royce champagne flutes for good measure. Now, that is really cool and calls for a celebration. <laughs> now, take your eyes up further right here at the back and you'll see that we also have a glass partition here. Now, this is an homage to a time when uh, Rolls-Royce was uh, building coaches because Rolls-Royce would put a glass partition between the luggage area and the passenger cabin of their coaches and this is a good homage to that. Now, the Cullinan also has this um, panoramic sunroof here. Of course, this thing wouldn't be complete without it. And if you want to see what you're controlling with your master control knob here, you could always press a button here on the, on the seat back of the front uh, uh, seats. And you have a nice fold-out uh, tray table here. And it also comes with your own LED screen that shows you the same display that can be found right there in front. I mean, this is pretty fantastic, guys. <laughs> I mean, it's quite obvious that despite this thing uh, being a hoot to drive with that twin turbo V12 engine up front, well, this Cullinan is best experience when you're seated here on the back seat. Well, I was surprised that the Cullinan didn't even come with a kitchen sink. 
Now, kidding aside, guys. Well, the Cullinan has been tagged as the most luxurious and most expensive SUV on the planet. And after seeing this in person, well, I must say, guys, that that title is 100% accurate. The Cullinan has all the luxuries ever conceived in the automotive world and when you put it all together, makes this Cullinan even greater than the sum of all its parts. Now, it may not be the best weapon of choice for actual rough and tumble off-roading, but who cares? When it comes to sheer presence and opulence on the road, none even comes close. Thanks for watching.